Good afternoon. This is August the 11th, the second day of school. Uh, we already are getting into our units. I wanted to send this video out to those parents that have already joined uh, with my YouTube and my blog. The way that the setup of the videos are going to run. This is an exercise that we did in class. This is not for homework. I'm just showing you a little bit of what we're doing here. Um, we are actually uh, comparing multiplications. We are you doing it by tens today. Um, the students are showing, demonstrating what exactly is going on when we multiply a digit by 10. This is just going to be the setup of how uh, the math class of the Eureka Math works is we're going to be doing a lot of demonstrating, showing how things work and why things work. So if we have um, right here 10 times 3 ones, if we have 3 ones and we're going to multiply those by, th by 10, then we're going to actually have two, four, six, eight, um, groups we're going to add, we're going to have 10 of each of the ones that we have demonstrating that this is now a group of 10, this is now a group of 10, and this is now a group of 10. So we would actually have three tens. What it states up here, the answer three times three ones is 30 ones because there's 30 ones right here but when we group those into groups of 10 we actually have three tenths. What I was telling some of the classes here also is when you see a multiplying sign that means groups of. So when we have three groups of 10 we have 30 ones or three tenths. 10 times two tens if we have two tens and we're going to multiply that by 10 we can take these two groups of 10 move them over here and have 20 tens or two hundreds uh, a lot of the students want to take this step and just move them over and it still looks like there's only two tens but actually if we multiply each one of these out by 10 then we will see that we actually have 20. We have 10 in this one and 10 in this one and then we'll do the same thing for the hundreds here. Um, if we have four hundreds and we multiply that by 10 then each one of these is going to have 10 hundreds so that would actually be 40 hundreds or 4,000. They do not have to draw out these dots every single time. They can just say if I'm multiplying that by 10 to 10. If I multiply this by 10, there's 10 more. So they'll be able to either count these 10, 20, 30, 40 and say there's 40 hundreds and then move these over and have four groups of thousands. All right, 10 times as many 110 is 10 tens. 110 times 10 tens is still 10 tens. Um, 10 times as many as 3 tens is 30 tens or 3 hundreds. 10 times as many as 900 is 9,000. 2 thousands is the same as 20 hundreds. And then it's asking you right here, use pictures, numbers, or words to explain how you got your answer for part D. Um, they're just wanting to realize that 2,000 is 10 times, or 10, 2,000 is the same as 20 hundreds because you would have two groups of 1,000 something along those lines works for me on that on the back side uh, Matthew has 30 stamps in his collection Matthew's father's 10 times as many so 10 times 30 is 300 I told the students today when you're multiplying by 10 all you're doing is taking that zero and putting it behind the original number and you're getting your answer Jane saved eight hundred dollars her sister has 10 times as much money how much money does her sister have so that is 800 times 10 that would be eight thousand uh, dollars. I told the students today also that when we're doing these word problems I would like these answers in sentence form so I would have Jane's sister has eight thousand uh, dollars. Fill in the blank four times as many as much as four is eight, ten times as much as four is forty, five hundred is ten times as much as fifty. 
because 50 times 10 is 500. 6,000 is 10 times as much as 600. Don't let the vocabulary get to your students. Um, this is something that um, the K, uh, the K prep, the star test, they use this verbiage 10 times as much, 10 times as many. Um, that's language they'll get used to um, the more they see it. So don't, don't feel frustrated if they're feeling a little frustrated as well. Sarah is nine years old. Sarah's grandfather is 90 years old. How much times as old is Sarah or is Sarah's grandfather? So nine times what equals 90? Well, that's nine times 10. So Sarah's grandfather is 10 times as much as Sarah. And then there's the answer right there. Have any questions? Uh, please let me know. I know this is a lengthy one. I'll try to keep it shorter uh, next time. Uh, probably won't do all the problems, like I said, when it is for homework. But if your student comes home and says, "I didn't learn anything. We didn't do anything in class," we have a video showing differently. If you have any questions, like I said, please uh, feel free to contact me. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.